Good morning again. Okay, my project is imagine if you can, and I know you jewelers can, I've been doing this for years. I have pieces that are just this big in diameter, and some are a lot smaller. Of watermelon agate. So anyway, they're they're cylindrical. Okay, I can't drill a hole in. So what I want to know from you guys is how would you get this piece into a form of a necklace? Here's my idea. Tell me what you think. So I have the little tiny piece. Some pieces are just that tiny. It's that big. Okay, so I know I'm thinking I could wrap some wire, wrap some sterling around the top, glue it, you know, and then make a point with a thing like this so I can put a bead cap on and then press the bead cap around the wire once it dries. I'm, okay, so I'm going to wrap some wire, glue it down, okay, with a point, a long piece of wire so I can make a, a bail, right? And then put the bail, uh, put the bead cap on, crimp it as much as I can without scratching the um, watermelon agate, yeah. No, agate is not hex, he, hexagonal. Whatever's hexagonal, it's crystal, it's like that. So, I want to know your opinion. Is that feasible? Wrap sterling. I have some uh, 26 gauge sterling, 24 gauge sterling. Wrap it. Glue it down, put a bead cap on, make a bell, hang it. Does that sound feasible? Tell me what you would do with something you can't drill and has no hole. It's not a cab. It's round like this. It's not a cab. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's why I was looking at my um, bead caps here. I have one piece that's probably about five millimeters in diameter. So that's really why I was thinking about a you know large bead cap, and then put it on the wire, clamp it down. I don't know. What do you think? How would you do it? Thank you. <laughs> Bye.